We're getting new insight this afternoon into a cyber attack involving the city of Atlanta. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston spoke with a cybersecurity expert about why these cases are so difficult to investigate and what the city needs to do moving forward. The criminologist I just spoke with specializes in cybersecurity. He said what the city of Atlanta is going through with the ransomware could be the tip of the iceberg. The thing about ransomware is uh, they leave it uh, in there so they can come back and ransom you again. Before Professor Don Hunt joined Georgia State, he spent decades doing cyber crime for the U.S. government and the world's largest payroll system in London. Even though city officials have said they are bringing some systems back online, it will take months to scrub Atlanta's intricate network and computer systems. The bigger question is, is it safe? So uh, they're going to they're have people looking through their system and they're going to be looking in to see whether did the bad guys leave anything. He says the hackers are known as SAM SAM and they specialize in hacking companies and municipalities. He says the hackers will only be brought down with the help of international agencies like the FBI, NSA, and Scotland Yard. The problem that they have is that they're behind the curve, mm -hmm. right? Um, with proxy servers and other types of things, uh, they're able to mask where they are. He says he wasn't surprised the hackers only asked for $50,000 in Bitcoin. If they don't get it, they'll more than likely just not unencrypt the files and the city of Atlanta will have to go from backups. Hunt says there are two simple things everyone should do every 30 days to lower their risk of being hacked. Always update your server uh, and your software. City officials have not said if they have paid the ransom, but they are asking everyone to update and change their passwords when they can log in to the system. Reporting from downtown Atlanta, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News.